Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what the commutative property of addition is. Now, the commutative property of addition can be used all throughout math. Everything from basic math facts to more complex problems to simplifying algebraic expressions to whatever else the case may be. The commutative property of addition is important to be familiar with. Now, the commutative property of addition states that changing the order of add-ends doesn't change the sum. Add-ends are the numbers being added together, and then the sum is the answer to an addition problem. So A plus B will equal the same exact thing as B plus A. So we can think of commute or move when it comes to the commutative property. We can move the add-ends around and still get the same answer. Now, don't let those letters confuse you. They are there to represent numbers and show that this will work for any numbers. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly what this means. Starting with number one, where we have 10 plus six. Now, 10 plus six, equals 16. The commutative property of addition states that we can change the order of the add-ends and that will not change the sum. So 6 plus 10 equals 16 as well. And that's the commutative property of addition. 10 plus 6 equals 16 and 6 plus 10 equals 16. Let's move on to number two, where we have 25 plus 38 plus 25. So we have three add-ins, three numbers being added together. Let's use the commutative property to change the order of the add-ins and make this problem simpler to work through. For example, let's change the order by switching that last 25 with the 38. That way, we have 25 plus 25 plus 38. Now we have 25 plus 25, which is a little simpler to work through than 25 plus 38. 25 plus 25, that gives us 50. Bring down the addition sign and the 38 that we have not used yet, and we end with 50 plus 38, which equals 88. The commutative property allowed us to change the order of that problem and made it simpler to work through. We had 25 plus 25, which gave us that 50, and then we added 50 and 38. That gave us our final answer of 88. Now, could we have worked from left to right, starting with 25 plus 38 and then adding that 25? Yes, we still would have gotten 88, but again, we used the commutative property to make this problem simpler to work through. Now, let's double check off to the side that we still would have gotten 88. So 25 plus 38 plus 25. So let's work from left to right, starting with 25 plus 38. That equals 63. Bring down the addition sign and the 25 we have not used. 63 plus 25 does equal 88. We get 88 that way as well. But again, you can look to use the commutative property to make a problem simpler to work through. It's always an option when working with addition or multiplication. Check out the description for my video on the commutative property of multiplication. So there you have it. There's the commutative property of addition. Just remember, changing the order of the add-ends, the numbers being added together, doesn't change the sum, the answer. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.